Hello everyone, and welcome back to Invasion from the Unknown, my playthrough. We are now on scenario 2 of 23, I think, and we will be playing it. So we will jump straight back in, scenario 2, a real confrontation. It was quite a success, but the fighting technique of those humans was more professional, coordinated and accurate than those of the regular nomadic skirmisher. That worried me initially, and I would have organized a scouting party into the desert if we had been in any condition to do so. Our group was greatly weakened by the battle, so we withdrew back to the main keep in the valley. Another patrol group took our place and was scheduled to return in three days. That was not to happen. Instead, enemies came to us with our kin's skulls mounted atop their banner poles. Driving them forth would not be easy. <clears throat> the patrol group that was sent to replace yours in the southern zone should have arrived this morning. I begin to worry about them. Fire. Fire on the horizon. Call out the fighters. Invaders draw near. Indeed, sir. It's an entire human army burning forages, uh, burning forests and pillaging villages in the border hills. They have even impaled the skulls of our fallen kin on their banners. An entire army? That's impossible. Humans are not capable of raising troops in such numbers. So, that is what befell them. Those invaders will not go unpunished. We must prepare to fight. We will not allow even an army to dispossess us. Men, to arms. But my lord, if these invaders could trap our best patrollers, how can we prevail against them while so short of recruits and supplies? Young Gallas, I understand your worries, but it is time for you to learn the first duty of a commander, which is to not be defeated in mind before you engage in battle. I accept your instruction. From the valley's main keep, you can recruit citizens to aid you in battle. Most of them have basic training in the use of the sword and the bow. However, they still lack the experience required to put them into effective use. But remember, they are not charging you for their services. Yet. Okay, so... Our objective here is to resist until turns run out, or defeat all enemy leaders for an early finish bonus. My experience with these scenarios so far would suggest that that latter option is going to be unlikely. And we lose if Ledinor dies, we lose if Galas dies, we lose if Anlinde dies, and we lose if enough villages are lost from our control. And there is no early finish bonus, which is not surprising because the main objective is to resist until turns come out. Turns run out, sorry. Okay, do we get little tutorial tips on people? Not for Ledinor. Uh, not for Volrand. I'm not going to remember the accents for these guys. Um, not for Lamael. Ah, he's the elven ranger that I trained last time. He's... Uh, yeah, looks good. And Linde. And Linde is an elvish ascetic. She has vast experience with offensive magic, but she also has the ability to cure allied units of poison. Keep in mind that she is the only unit of her... blank. Presumably, early only unit of her type. Alright. Let's have a quick look around. Oh, nice fire noises. So we can see... Vorgawin is a heavy longbowman. We've got Judan, who's a razor man. These guys are nasty. And we've got an iron mauler, weirdly, down here. Halwyn. And uh, we basically have to fight off these three players, with the help of Ledinor, who, you know, I suspect is not going to be a huge amount of use. Alright, so if you look at my recallable troops, we can see that there are four units here who were leveled to level two. Um, a rider, a druid, a hero, and a captain. Now, the tricky thing here is that in survival scenarios, it's generally not 
in my view, all that sensible to recruit too many of your tougher units because you'll have a much higher death rate than you would in general. So the best plan is just to recruit a few of these harder guys and to hopefully let regular troopers do the rest of the work. And uh, if we do that, then probably the best bet is to recall Felor, the elvish captain, because he can give them all leadership. Maybe the druid as well, though. Even that, I'm not really sure it's the best of plans. So maybe I'll just see how I do with sh shamans and uh, take it from there. Okay, so I'm going to start by moving uh, my troops to the right direction. And this map has a lot of forest on it, and that makes me think that my best bet is going to be units that have very good defense in forest. So rather than fighters and hunters, I'll be looking more at archers and uh, also shaman. I will take one fighter, just for good measure. And one hunter as well. And we'll see how we get on. Well, at least Ledinor has filled up his keep. Right, gods! What is that thing? Okay, so we see a few, a few troop types we haven't seen before. Um, for a start, we've got these little doggies, the uh, Hounds of Chaos. And um, I would love to be able to say that those are good boys, but... Um, they're not. They're bad, bad boys. They are extremely nasty units because they've got the Berserk ability, which means that they can absolutely rip your units to shreds when they're not melee units. Fortunately, they're not very strong, so usually even someone weak in a forest will be able to beat them. But again, like everyone else here, pretty much, other than the Iron Mauler, they are stronger at night time. And it is currently the Long Dark. Oh, we've also got some demons. Uh, those were the things that freaked out Ledinor. They are kind of annoying because they've got high defense. And um, we've got a few, not very many, but a few level 2 units floating around here as well. And these guys, headhunters, who are skirmishers and therefore very irritating at sneaking around your lines and killing your units. Okay, let's move everyone down to the south. No one is even close yet, so we now... The intuition here is to, to try and defend by sticking around close to your original base. The problem with that approach is... Well, the main problem with that approach is that you will lose all your villagers, and uh, that is really bad in this scenario. Volrand I should probably try and hang on to, because Volrand is loyal, which means he doesn't cost me any upkeep in gold. And that's one of the major factors later in the game in determining how many units you can recruit. Okay, fly, my pretties, fly. The harder side of the map to defend is the side where... Um, where Ledinor is, but uh, and we can't really rely on him to do it because, as you'll see, the defensive ally AI is n not all that great in this game. Okay, I don't have very many unit choices left, um, so another archer, well, another couple of shamans, I think, um, or maybe just one. Um, and a fighter, and then I'll run out of money. If I if I if I rec if I recall two units, 
Oh no, I'm gonna recall one. I'm gonna recall Felor because he will be useful to me because he's got his leadership ability. And then I can recruit two other units. Um, now, what could it be? Um, a shaman and a scout, an archer and a scout. Um, how many shamans have I got? Only two shamans I think is not going to be enough, so I'm going to get another shaman. Um, and then I can recruit a... <sighs> I will get... Uh, it's so tempting to just get more archers and just, just to pack my army out with archers in this scenario, but no. I'm going to go for a hunter, actually, because they are flexible. Do various things with them. Okay, Galas, you two can head south. Um, where's the dog going to go? If I can predict that, I can try and kill it early. But no, I'm going to stay where I am. You go there and hide. And, and Linde, I want you to try and come down here and help defend this lake. This is one of those scenarios where it's only 24 turns, but there are an awful lot of enemies in it, so uh, we shall see how long it lasts. Well, Telchior at least has a lot of gold to spare, but oh, here we go. Leave nothing standing. Burn them alive with their villages. Oh, I'd forgotten about that dynamic. That's really annoying. They destroy your villages when they move into them. On the plus side, it means they don't get more gold, but it also means you can't recapture them, so... Eh. I don't think we can resist them. So, there is yet human civilization on this continent. I wonder why we have not encountered them before. It must be that they are a new tribe, only recently come into its power. An evil power that is not from our world. Look! Would that my fears had proven false. Okay, some of the enemy are in range now. Um, now the question is, do I try and defend these frontal villages? How many villages do I have to have standing? I have to have eight in total under each of under either of our control. So there are three at the back. Those are safe. Then there are three that Ledenor fairly safely has control of. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think these outlying ones are not going to survive, and so I think it's probably not worth defending them. I'll try and defend this one up here. If I, oh, the hunters have got good defense in forest. I think I underestimated that. And let's put the captain, my captain, down here. And then we shall have... You in the village. The dog is quite far away. Can't do anything yet. You there, so you'll benefit from the captain. You there, so you'll also benefit from the captain. And... Galas, you stay there because you will hopefully later be able to run away. Um, and, uh, and let's get a few shamans up. You go behind them. And you can go there. And I think, yeah, other than that one irritating headhunter, no one can currently reach that skirmisher. And no one, crucially. Um, oh, these headhunters really are irritating. I've forgotten just how annoying they are. Okay, Taith, you go there. And now, there really is only one person who can reach the shaman, and if they do... They are crazy. You go there. You 
also come down here, and then we have another shaman here. And you two, now you need to hold the line. We've got a Hound of Chaos over here. Hopefully, Ledinor will be less than completely... Less than completely useless. More than completely useless? Less than completely useless? I don't know. Not completely useless in any case. How far can these guys move? Not very far other than the doggy. You go down there. Yeah, alright. If the dog fights a fighter in the woods, the dog will probably lose. You go up here, because I don't want the dog taking that village straight away. Ah, I don't want you defending it either. 6-2, yeah. Not convinced that you would win that fight. Well, I'm going to take it. See what Lebanon has to say about it. Okay, let's end there. Ah, beautiful. Choosing to take this fight with an archer is a bold move, but uh, like I say, the AI is um, interesting in some of its choices. And we don't see much semblance of a defensive line here, we just have random units moving forward as fast as they can and standing in terrains that aren't all that good for them. Such is the way of AI allies. I mean, given Le Lidenor's general demeanour and arrogance, it does kind of make sense that he behaves like that. He's like, yes, let's just send my troops around willy-nilly. They can fight off these human chaos scum. Yay. Elves in forests, gotta love it. Oh. That's far less good. Okay, well at least I can take out those annoying uh, purples. Hopefully without too much difficulty. And for the moment, it looks like the AI enemies have run out of money. So, let's see if that stays. Oh, oh, oh! These guys I had forgotten about. These guys are annoying. They can skirmish. They're incredibly powerful. They're a bit unbalanced, to be honest. Um, let's see. Alright, so I don't actually want to do too much this round. I want to take let let Ledinor take the bulk of the attacks. What can I do over here? Um, well, I think something that's not too risky, or shouldn't be too risky, is to come up here and attack this guy. Be nice if Ledinor could get the kill, but that's not going to happen. So, no. any experience is good experience. You can come over here, and you can fight this guy. Well, these headhunters, not the nastiest thing in hand-to-hand -hand combat, fortunately. Okay, the dog is still where it was. It doesn't seem to have moved forward. Let's see. I'm saving it. There's two purple dogs here. Got to look out for them. If one of them gets their hands on Anlinde, it could be a world of pain. All right, so Gallus, you have a crack on this guy. Lovely stuff. And now that means that uh, Ledinor's troops will finish him off, I think. Um, you, you take a step out, and then you can help here. Oh, look at that damage, with 30% chance to hit and return. Beautiful. <laughs> eh, could have done with a few more hits there, but um, so is the way of the world. Uh, and I'm actually going to see if I can take it a little bit further than that. I'm going to bring another archer forward and try and finish the job. <laughs> Alright, that went well. 
now you can go back there and I'll bring the shaman forward. Um, there's going to be a lot of damage, so I hope that Ledinor's units are going to be ready to do some tanking in the near future. Over here, you go over there, and you, know, you, you as well, you want to be over there. And a shame, why not? Okay, let's see if I can actually defend both sides of the map, because Ledinor is not going to do it for me, and he's not going to make it easy. The rest of you can stay where you are. Well, that was weak. Strategic decision is that. Okay, well, that shaman is definitely dead. Probably that one, too. Way to throw your shamans away, dude. Even then, even with that luck. And there goes the second one. Nice. That dog is still just sitting there. Get in. <laughs> Dog just somehow burned that village to the ground. I'd be interested in the mechanics of that, but uh, hey. Another Zephyrs are moving forward. All right, now the shit is really starting to hit the fan. Galas, you probably want to go back to base and recruit some more friends. So you do that. Now, uh, the right-hand side, Ledinor has more troops, but on the other hand, it's looking pretty grim. Um, how can I improve the situation? Don't want to just throw a shaman away. Um, well, you go there, and then you go there, and then you two try and take out this Knight of Chaos here. You go first, because you're more likely to die. You don't need the experience as much. In the unlikely event that I manage to kill this... Well, that's looking more likely now. You'll get the experience. And then you'll get from all sides. Yeah. It'd be nice if I could somehow get this archer to survive. Maybe... Ah, oh no. If I sacrifice this hunter... Oh, I don't have that many hunters. Don't want to throw their lives away. Oh dear. The choices. The choices. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do that. Um, you go around there. Use the bolas. Slow this guy down. Okay, that should stop them from overrunning my ranks completely in the immediate vicinity of the future. Um, now maybe you, in fact, can... Uh, see, if she stands on the road, she's going to get killed as well. But maybe if there's enough of Ledinor's units there, <laughs> we won't get to her in time. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, I think some slowing is a very good idea at this point, because um, ultimately it's all about buying time for myself here. Now, what am I going to recruit? 
more archers, I think. Archers are just so, so tempting in this situation. A couple of archers and a hunter. I can do that with the money I've got at the moment. Oh no, I can't. Well, I miscalculated that. Um, next time, next time. You go there. Uh, doesn't look like anyone can reach that yet. But you stay there. Yeah, you move here. Now, okay. Right hand flank. I think first order of business is to get rid of these annoying headhunters, so I'll try and do that. <coughs> This one's very weakened. Can it be taken out by a Shaman of the Staff? Yes, it can. Haha! <laughs> I always love it when that happens. Okay, now the one in the water can get slowed. And then hopefully a lot of the rest of these will end up getting cleaned up by, uh, by the, uh, the troops of Ledinor anyway. Now, Volran just needs two hits here in order to get a nice kill, and there's not that many other units around. It's tempting. I'm gonna do it. Yes! Okay, perfect. Now, I need to stop these other units from coming and killing Volran, so the best way of doing that is probably to get an archer out here and to uh, Try and deal some damage to this heavy infantryman or some of these other units. Um, ooh, 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 you could skip across and snipe that dog. And you would win. Um, but I'm going to do it in a, different, a slightly different way. Um, well, that's tempting. Get some, some troops away. Now I'll leave that. I wanna, I wanna, I'm more invested in, in maintaining this flank, I think. Or am I? The dogs can't get to those villages in the middle. Yeah, yeah, okay. So in that case, you want to go down here and try and snipe this, or try and shoot at this demoness. Because demonesses are annoying when they get to the forest, and at least when they're out into the open you can actually hit them. You come around here and attack this guy. He's very heavily armoured, so your damage won't be great, but every little counts. And now, hopefully, our mate will deal some more. Anyone else haven't moved? No. Down you go. Now it's an arch standing in the middle of the road. What was that move? holding off green relatively successfully. It seems like we need to pay more attention to what's going on with purple and blue because they've got tougher units and there is more of them. still has yet to, to strike. Ouch. Oh, these bloody demons. See, we got Dog and Archer. 
And my archer's got it, but now... Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Yes! Okay. This archer levels. This archer is intelligent and dexterous. Not super tough. Um, Marksman or... Marksman or Ranger? I'm slightly... I think survivability is the priority at the moment, so I'm going to go for Ranger. And that's good. That means I can take out one of the Zephyrs, hopefully relatively easily. Turn six, and it looks like Ledinor has a grand total of one, two, three on this flank, and one, two, three, four, just about on this flank. He has a total of seven units left in play from his initial <laughs> recruitment. <laughs> so it's not looking great for old Ledinor. Okay, we're going to have to think of something different. We've got another dog here coming up the flank. Um, first order of business, take out this Zephyr. I think that's something that our friend the captain can help with. So bring it on. Uh, that wasn't great. Um, uh, now maybe an archer can finish the job. If we had an archer on... No, that one can't quite reach. Hmm. Yeah, looks like it's going to have to be this one, or oh, that one over there. Okay, well, yeah, let's just try it. Fifteen. No, wait. This is a dexterous archer next to the champion. That's not even dexterous. <sighs> Go on then. Oh, that hit ratio! Come on. Okay, well that's one dead archer, but at least at least it looks like the um, at least it looks like the zephyr is gonna survive this. So now, do I leave the archer here and try and try and snipe off some some enemies, or what's what's the play? What's the play, George? Um, I think the play is for this one to go and run away and get some healing. This one. No, you need to... If you can go down there... Um, oh no, but if you stand there you're going to get killed, aren't you? Oh, oh god. Um, who can you slow down? You could kill a Zephyr. You could kill a Zephyr for me. Well, let's see. Alright, we'll try and take this one. Oh, these guys are so tough. That was rubbish. Okay, well, it's the daytime. Yeah, you come around there. Do that. One hit. One hit. That's all I ask. Yes. And now everyone's going to target you because you're tough. And you're near a level. But that's okay. So, what can I, what can I do other than that? Um, I could be aggressive. I could bring the shaman round. I could use you to... Do some slowing, and then bring you down round. Ah, I don't. I still don't want them to go and stand in the open. It's only the morning. You go there. So this is the flank that needs to be defended at this stage. Now, oh, this is in the centre. This is not looking great at all. Um, I feel like you ought to go back and guard that village so that this next Zephyr can't sneak through and grab it. Same with this headhunter. Um, don't feel like I can prevent that from happening particularly, but uh, well. What else do I want to do here? Um, 
one, two, no, I've only got 13 gold now, that sucks, okay. Um, well, Gallus, you stay where you are, and next turn I'll recruit someone else. Um, there's a dog there, I don't like the dogs. As you can tell, I really don't like the dogs. So I'm gonna weaken it. <laughs> And I'm also going to try and take out this irritating demoness. Well, the one good thing about that sucking is that it means it gives my shaman a chance to get some more experience. That wasn't all that successful. Alright, so. Nira, you try it. That wasn't Nira, that was Volrand. Um, Volrand, yeah, well done, you did it. But now you're probably gonna get killed by the stupid crossbowman. Okay, well, on this flank, things are looking a lot better than, than they could. And I think you, your best trick is just to take out this uh, Chaos Invader. Yeah, there we go. So this is going to be a struggle. This is going to be a bloody, bloody battle. You... Take on this Doom Guard. They're just going to sit there and do moderate amounts of damage otherwise. Don't want you to die, but if you die, ultimately, it's not the end of the world. Um, what else can happen here? I think that would be... It for this turn, unless I want to move Galas down in support. Tempting, but um, all right. How many of your own units can you now kill off, Ledinor? <coughs> Shaman versus dog, really, really. Well, she's hard to hit. <laughs> of the titans. But she's going to get whacked by that guy with the, with the mace. I see what I mean about those demons. No one hits them. No one hits them. Oh, that's more like it. Ow! No one ever hits the demons. Is the dog going to come in? No, the dog is going to go around the side. This is a very, very cautious dog. Stop hitting my hunter! Not fair. Yeah, see? Slowed at least. So our AI ally now has a grand total of three units surviving. This is not good news. Um, it'd be nice to take down this Zephyr, but I don't have very many units with which to do that. The demon there. These guys, I'm getting a bit overwhelmed on this flank now, which is not great. I reckon I can still pull this back though. Um, but you, you're slow, you're not fast, so Volrand, if you and your loyalty can pull off a kill on this guy, that is good news. Now you just have to not die while I get you up to the next level and then I'll have a nice high level loyal unit. But for now, 
So maybe you want to stay where you are and make this heavy infantryman slow because otherwise he's going to be a pain. It's the daytime. Well, the rest of you... Someone needs to finish off this guy. Or try and fail to finish off this guy. Um, shall we... Can the, can the shaman do it? Let's hope the shaman can do it. Yes, the shaman can do it. Alright, that's good, but she... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's um, not the best. I can stick this guy in between. I really don't like... I really don't like... the fact that this crossbowman is there. And it's capable of doing quite a lot of damage, especially at night. I think I'm just gonna go for an archery off. That went very well. Okay, now that guy's weakened and I think probably will be a priority for Ledinor to take out next turn. Alright, now the main battle awaits. You, you're almost healed. Um, I think you should still guard that because it's still in danger from this stupid Zephyr. Um, you are a national treasure. You should come back and go where that shaman is now. You come out, you go there. Um, I'm gonna grab myself... what should I have? I think I think a hunter actually is a very good bet in these circumstances. They are so good when it's... Uh, when it comes to defending. And I'm already seven turns in, but I know that what happens next is that um, these bad guys get an injection of gold after a while, so I can't leave it too long. <clears throat> now you stay sitting there, um, you go and back them up. Actually, now you come out, I can use the daylight to our advantage, try and take out this invader. <laughs> yes! Okay. Um, blue is looking pretty beat up. Unfortunately, red is still pretty much... <laughs> red... Purple, that is. is I'm red. <laughs> purple is looking pretty much unscathed. So, let's try and scathe purple a little bit. I think the slow strategy is the right one. This... You should ideally survive. So, you go back to the house. And then you come down here, and uh, now the you, the ranger, get this level two kill, and then you get some nice hits in on this invader. Works for me. All right. Now this. The trouble is, this flank, you know, it could just crumble at any time now. Um, so, maybe I should do some more slowing. Maybe, ah, that's the trick. You come down here and slow this guy. Oh, or try to. And now you're going to get beat up. Alright, so, yeah. These guys are going to suddenly swoop round soon. So you go there, and then you, Galas, come out to be the next line of defense. You, I think, need to be somewhere where you can get some healing. Uh, this is this is so problematic. Come on, come on, Ledinor, you can you can do better than this. Um, yeah, and as I said, I've lost almost all my shamans already. This one's probably going to go down next turn. Um, we shall see. Uh, these guys, hopefully, when they've done their job over here, they can help clean up. I can try and some of them can pile across and deal with this Zephyr. But yeah, you you want to be either here somewhere or I don't know. Yeah, try that. Hopefully, no one can get that far around. The Zephyr can get that far around. Of course, they can. All right. Well, 
Let's just see what happens. What did I tell you about getting your own units killed? At least none of the three of them died on his turn. Down goes one. Ooh, it's not looking good for this guy. Dog in the forest! Finally, this blue dog makes its move. <laughs> and doesn't last very long. Okay, I think that's all the dogs. Oh. Yee, stupid Zephyr. Okay. Okay, that flank is getting hammered. Not great, not great. Um, first things first, need to defeat the Zephyr. Second thing, need to shore up the flank. I think that can it's mean, it can mean retreating down here. Can you reach anyone useful? No, you can't. But down here, there's some very, very weakened troops. What do you have to do to get the kill there? No, not all that much. Okay. here and shoot him down yes okay we now have a level two rider you're too far away to be any danger you're not too far away to be any danger but i think you guys are going to need to come back and join the main fight because otherwise i'm going to start getting overrun up here i mean start i already am getting overrun up here okay so you go over to there need to deal with this Zephyr. I need to deal with this Zephyr in a way that isn't going to get Galas killed. Okay, start out with Philor. See what you manage to, to pull off. Well, actually, first, you get some more big hits in on this Doomguard. Or maybe the Knight of Chaos. Yeah. It looks like you're doing more damage to him, and they hit harder. Almost dead. Okay, excellent. Um, amazingly, yeah, two of um, two of Ledinor's troops are still alive. Oh, and he's recruited a civilian. How cute! He's recruited a the kind of trooper that's almost completely useless. Yeah, they don't take upkeep. That is a fact. Um, right, you. You come down here, and you slow the Zephyr. Alright, and now you go round. Okay, this is looking a little bit less um, horrifying. Deteer, the Elven Hunter. Um, if you get the kill... Yeah, I mean, one in four I need. But then you'll be stood out in the open. I just need to bring other troops down so that you don't immediately get killed yourself. Let's try it. Alright, level two, Elvish Trapper. So now I need to try and wipe out some of these guys. Oh, 
I want to keep this shaman alive. This shaman's the only healer I've got on this side of the map now. Um, no, it's not. There's another one. But never mind. Okay. Well, still. Okay, you come down here and get this kill. You're not going to be as useful in combat. You run away because you're going to get beat on otherwise. You come down here because that's funny if you get this kill. Ah, oh, we can't make it. Oh well. Um, I don't want to lose this village, but I'm going to lose it, aren't I? Yeah. Um, yeah, just have to be stronger on this flank. And now you, Garak, can come and have a whack at this invoker. <coughs> Not Garak. Garak, again, is a character from a different campaign. Garak is a character from Under the Burning Suns. And the invoker is still alive, which means that this can try and get the no I'm not going to try and get the kill with the with the zero XP uh, shaman I'm instead going to try and get the kill with this archer who can actually pull it off how far can these guys move now quite far right so you go back and get a healing or ooh, nah yeah, you go back and get healing, and you come out here and shoot the invoker. Oh, come on! And now you're going to get killed. Wah, wah. Okay, you guys both, I think, should come and join the main battle. Um, probably is going to mean that this one is going to get a bit whacked, but... Uh, I mean, yeah, who cares? Kill the demon! Or oh, no damage to the demon, that also works. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, this shaman is an absolute tank. Ah, yes. Alright, uh, I'm a bit worried about what purple's gonna do, though. Why? Why would you do that? Gala swinging his sword a bit there, getting some action. Not the good kind of action. Well, I mean, I guess that depends what you think the good kind of action is. And that, excellent, that demon has run away back towards home. That is a very nice outcome. Okay, now I can try and clean up this long line of irritating blue and purple units. First of all, you take a few shots. You can get a level up if you want it. Do you want it? Should I give this guy the level up instead? I mean, it's a level one unit. I won't do it. You go there, you go here, you do that. <laughs> now you are intelligent and resilient, so I'm going to make you into a marksman. And hopefully you don't get instantly killed. <laughs> okay, now a captain can come down and help shepherd... Hmm. Maybe your best use is... We can do both. Um, you go there and try and shoot this demon. <laughs> Alright, so that was more or less average. Alright, you again get to try and fight against this Chaos Invader. And again, miss. Um. Uh, 
you get to come down here and slow this guy. Or try to and fail. That works too. I mean, it doesn't work. You... How best to handle this? The captain's too far away. The captain's going to come down here. Yes, okay, that's good. Um, they've not got that much that can threaten this flank now, so I'm going to bring you back to the forward village. Uh, only that demon is really looking like they're going to be a problem. And then over here, we can bring some archers in. Oh, these guys are so tough. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, one more hit needed. Let's give it to my Elven Rider. Give it to this fighter. Don't have any fighters that are on the way to a level at the moment. Do that. Okay, now it looks like we're holding. You go back and get some health, because you are going to be useful later on. You come forward try and attack this guy. And now that's an easy kill to get Gallus a little tad more experience. You likewise take out this annoying guy. The big guy. Alright. I don't like this this flank now, this flank's got weak, but there's there's not many people threatening it, so I reckon I can go and uh, and chill a bit. You in the meantime can come and no, no one's got very good movement now. Um, join the main bulk of the forces. And you just retreat. And then I think that's it for my turn. This guy is going to be the most likely to die, isn't he? <laughs> very, very bold moves here from Ledinor. <coughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Wham. Okay, now amazingly, that fighter has actually survived. Um, you, if you can kill a level 2 unit, you'll be up to a level. Um, it's getting to dusk, it's getting to danger time. But these guys are still nowhere near finding my villages. Maybe I can rely on Ledinor to do the sensible thing. I should never say things like that, I really shouldn't. But I do want to try and clean up as much of these units as possible before nightfall. So I think the best bet is for... Someone needs to go around the side and have a good chop at this invoker. You try it. <coughs> yep, that's what I want to see. If you go there... Um, ah, you're pretty badly wounded, and you're you're valuable too. Hmm. You run away. I'm not risking my dudes. I think you are a bit too tough to be killed immediately as well. So I'm going to see if this shaman can just move up one, and then 
slow. Okay, that's better. You take out this demon. Oh, why can no one ever hit demons properly? Oh, it's so annoying. Um, maybe I could still just come round and whack these guys. There's no one much... Yeah, I'll try it. Captain! <laughs> Excellent. Alright, then here... You, Galas, come down and have a whack at this demoness. And Miss Morden seems reasonable. Actually, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I shouldn't complain. You shoot the demon. Is there anyone more dexterous? You're dexterous. You can kill the demon in two hits. Yeah. Alright, that's what I like to see. Now, maybe I could even kill this, uh, kill this one after all. I don't know. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna try and be a bit more aggressive here. If this goes wrong, you know, shrug. Um, you go for some magic speed down. No one ever hits demons. Ah, but you can hit demons. No, you can hit everyone. But first of all... Come on! Oh, that was pathetic. Oh, well. I want to get rid of this Magus, but it's not a Magus, it's an Invoker. The next level of, of these guys is called, is called Magus, that's why I keep calling them that. Um, you come here and bring your marksman skills into play. <laughs> Bit of a waste of marksman skills, but there we go. And now you can hopefully finish the job. Can you buggery? All right. He's the perfect person to do it, but... Yeah, alright. Oh no! Oh, now he's in a terrible, terrible position. Oh. Well, okay. I'm gonna entangle this one. Not strong. You go and try and whack the demoness and fail probably, and then she'll get a level. Or no, you come down here because you can you can fight. So now that basically means that Perad, the poor man, is for the chop. But I think there was probably no avoiding that anyway. You come in here and try and finish this. Okay, so now these three are trapped, um, and hopefully won't be able to deal too much damage at this stage. Um, you can go across here, and that civilian can hold the line for us. Alright, turn 10. Perad. The civilian goes valiantly onto the fray. Okay, I think at this point the play is kill everyone who's close by and then fall back. 
Well, that mostly means this demon here, who is quite irritating. And some people will need to come back over here and defend. Because this civilian is not going to be holding the line. Spoilers. You stay there and heal, Quothad. We don't want you to be Nevermore. See what I did there? It was very clever. You... Right. Where's the champion? You go here. That was painful. Alright. You... You come down here. Oh, you're going to get chopped to pieces if you do that. Oh, this is going to get tricky. Okay. Who can slow? You can slow. You slow this one. You... Oh, slow or just sword? Just sword, I think. was the wrong choice. You come around here, get some nice capture in the last. Damage, and then you can try and kill this demon. If you get lucky, you just need to get a bit lucky. Nah, no, whoever gets lucky in this day and age. Um, I guess then I'll just leave it to Anne Linde to do the trick. She gets a much better chance of hitting. And I do need to get her leveled up, because she again is going to come with me the whole way, and she needs... She needs protection, she needs support, she's also very, very powerful at higher levels. silly, but uh, you can easily run away. What I need to make sure is that this one lights the dust. And probably the best way of doing that is with this marksman. Again, if you need someone to hit, get a marksman to do the job. There we go. Two shots. Jobs are good. Run away. Uh, go to where a healer is. Oh, you're already next to a healer. Can you get... yeah. And you, Volrand, run over to the other side of the map. And you, unnamed archer, Namia, also run over to that side of the map. And you, go back to a house and get yourself healed. <laughs> this civilian is still playing silly buggers. Blue player can't engage. Green player is going to finish off this civilian, but otherwise can't engage. Purple player cannot engage. Ooh, it's a dog. Okay, now pull back. Pull the hell back, everyone. Right hand flank is safe. Hmm, that arch is a little bit unsafe there. 
what happens if he goes round? Yeah. Okay, now this invoker can still get in on the shaman, maybe possibly killing her. That would be a shame. But uh, there's a chance we're going to have to take. And if she hits him with a slow, then she won't die. You come back here. You stay where you are. And, and then I think we are good. Um, bring you forward. Bring you out. Bring you over here. And now we're in a good position to withstand whatever comes. And we've got money coming in as well. I'm not going to try and kill the enemy leaders. In the past I've tried that and it has ended quite badly for me. Again, thanks to some creativity uh, on the part of Ledinor, I'm not going to die immediately because there are easier targets. I just saw. But now we've got a doggo coming in. Mm. Doggos are fast. We need to put someone in front of the doggo that it can fight. Everyone retreat a bit more. It's the daytime, but, uh, you know... I think a little more healing is required. Amazing how they managed to bulk up squads of units. I guess this is almost everyone now. Alright. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull back as far as here. Now you, you're fully healed, so you come forward. You go to the house. Uh, who else needs time in the house? You could go... Ah, oh, no, you're not quite... Can you go to the other house? Yes, you can. Good. You go to that house. You go to that house. You go somewhere where you're close to the healers. You go over here. You go up to the healers. Um, yeah, in front. You can come over here. And you also ideally want to stand in front of some healers, but mm, not really a good spot for you, is there? Okay, you just come back. And now I want to create an opportunity for these guys to strike out on their own. So you come and see if you can attack Volrand. And then we'll get you into a nice trap. And hopefully not everyone else will follow. Yes, thank you. Put down the rabid dog. Again, we see the tankiness of these fighters in forests. Even the demon can't end it, but okay, that guy can. Good. Okay, it's second midday, we've still got afternoon to go. These guys are still pretty weakened. Still not quite time to strike. I want them to come closer. You're pretty healed. You can go there. You go back here. Hmm. Who can you reach? Okay, you can reach the archer. You can't reach anyone. You can't reach anyone. 
Yes, this is fine, as the dog in the burning house says. And you just pull up there. You go there. Um, yeah, let the archer take it. The archer can tank some damage. And then you come down here, because you'll need to be on cleanup duty. Gallus... Yeah, I don't actually want to recruit yet. I think it's better not to. I'm best, save, I'm best saving the money. So you come there. Over here, though, I'm going to need to do some work. So... around the sides. This demon's too far away, this swordsman's too far away. Hopefully I can finish the job on this guy relatively swiftly. Uh, see, the tricky thing is, yeah, the only way of actually finishing it is, yeah, no, he's going to die if I do that, so I won't do that. Now probably this elven archer will try and kill steel from me. Which is unfortunate, but it's not the worst thing in the world. You go and stand up there in case this guy gets attacked. I feel it more likely... No, who knows? We'll see. Alright, bring it. Ha! Try and steal my kill, why don't you? Oh yeah! Okay, looks like there might be some kills that I can actually steal now. First of all, though, you get yourself to a healer, because you are going to be valuable. And then you come down and do the business. The business, yes. Um... Alright, we've got ourselves a second druid. That is very handy. And then this one also, you can level up. Or should I rather give the experience to Volorand? Oh, those dogs. Um, oh, you do it. Not the level, not the level just yet. And the dog and one swordsman are close enough to make life difficult. But you can get in and do some shooting. And there shouldn't be too many repercussions for that pointless act. <laughs> Should I try and kill this guy? With someone. Move forward, try and... Yeah, I mean, I feel like... Again, since it's still daytime, and it's going to be a long night soon, it's... it's no time like the present, really. So, Galas, you do it. Get the kill. Or not. Go, and now some others want to move forward and defend.
No one's fast enough to get there, so I'm going to put Kalelolel, with a lovely name, on that spot. Everyone else, you, you come down and right, get ready to join the fight over here. And then, yeah, I'll shoot too. Again, the aggressive play here from uh, <laughs> from my friend Ledinor. Sad trombone sound. guy he served his purpose I guess oh no oh no oh no come on shaman you can do it shaman no oh, you can't do it Oh, do you see what I mean about those dogs? See what I mean about those dogs? Oh, I didn't put this guy on the house. That's irritating. Well, he can have a dog for dinner, I guess. And then I'll clean up down here. This is this this squad is a bit more than I can handle. These guys want to retreat, I think. Uh, you want the kill? No, you should get the kill. <laughs> You kill this guy. You shoot this guy. Ah! Oh. What is that? 30% to hit, people. And now Anne Linde also gonna go in for some demon action. Or is she? Is that stupid? Is that stupid? Okay. There's only three of them. There's only three people that can get in. I reckon this is fair. She's gonna go down and deal some, hopefully, almost, almost guaranteed damage. sure that the um I wasn't even sure that the trapper would be able to do it then but okay you get down and provide some healing who needs the healing the most Probably those two. And then you... Can these go? These are, they're not anywhere close. Um, might as well just come down here and see if he can finish the job. <laughs> Finally! Alright, job's a good one. You sit there. You folks I'm gonna retreat a bit. Looks like you're gonna be able to get there, so let's put you there. And then you can go in and get slowed. And then you can't do anything if you're there. No one can hit you. You 
Take a few pot shots at this silly trooper. And you run. You run back to the house, I think. Or maybe you run over here. Yeah, you run over here. Okay, again, that's going to slow down the enemy troops, so thank you for that, Lidinor. It's an archer on its own in water, so it's probably not going to slow them down much. But please do go ahead and prove me wrong. Oh no. Another dog. Again, I think it's time now, we've got the long dark, so it's time now for everyone to run, run, run as fast as they can. You run up there. I feel like recruiting any new units. I kind of feel like again it would be wasteful. So everyone just pull back, and um, then we'll take it from there. And only that demon is going to be an immediate problem, and you, if you run up there. Almost left him behind. That could have been awkward. Dog would have got him. with the bold civilians. They've just got a steady stream of gold, but it's enough for them to keep producing irritating units. It's really quite frustrating. And uh, on this flank, they are advancing rapidly. How many of those villages do I have to hold? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight should be able to hold those, and then the others don't matter. What happens if I steal one of Ledinor's villages? He will he be pissed. <laughs> but I kind of want to defend this one.
Hmm, someone really ought to stand here and tank some shots, but I'm not sure who. Possibly, maybe the best play is just to stand here? I don't know. I'm gonna try and slow. Oh god, never attack demons, never attack demons! Second watch. I think there's four watches in the long dark. No, you stay there because if the civilian fails to stop the the slaughter, then well, we'll see. The civilian's going for the dog! Next level, man! Next level! Go, Palace! Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight these guys now. close to a level of Kalelalel, and the um, question is really only whether to... Oh, so many units can reach me next turn, oh, this is really frustrating. Okay, I'm just going to have to deal as much damage as I can and, and hopefully end up in a position where I can tank it a bit. Hmm, not great. Definitely not great. No, you're gonna get whacked if I do that. Yes, you go, Chiquita. I think you should probably be a sorceress just on the strength of that. And I'm gonna have to stand some dudes down here. Sorry, I had to sneeze. <clears throat> and then you... You're the... Who's the toughest here? One of you two. Nah, but... Hmm. Tricky. So many people are going to be able to attack these folks. That's not good at all. Someone needs to stand here. And that someone 
ought to be probably the tankiest person I have, which is actually this, this captain, but he's not so good in defense. So I'm going to put a, an archer who I won't miss in that position. And then someone needs to go down here. You go there. And then I think we should have a reasonably decent chance of this setup not totally screwing me over. This guy, is he going to try and run forward? turns. And it doesn't look like um, Telchior or um, Ledinor is going to come and pull something out for me either. Oh, there. Come on. Okay, well you guard that flank then. Consider that could have gone a lot worse. Now let's try and wipe these guys up. It's now the fourth watch. I've still got comparatively uh, a disadvantage of here. Um, very tempting to run in and just fight this dog, but uh, I might lose. And because I might lose, I'm going to run back to the house. You should go into the forest and zap this demon. Ah, oh, what is it with demons and accuracy? Probably the captain is going to have to stand here. Ah, she's going to get so heavily attacked. Well, you run away for a bit. You come and attack this guy. Or well, maybe not. Maybe you come around here and attack this guy. Uh, no. Either way, you go there. You go here. And then someone needs to take out this mage. Who's feeling bold? You've got a good damage output. You could do it in one, um, but you won't. Someone to go and stand in the middle of the road. You are looking like shit, and you're one of my best units, so you go and heal. Maybe replace with... Shit. 
Sheesh. Okay, well you go then, you go here. And then you come around here and you can zap. Now, you try and get the kill. <laughs> and fail. <laughs> Oh no, okay, this is not going according to plan. Um, well, these two can't get to... They're going to try and attack Anne Linde, aren't they? It's tempting to just bring this druid down, use the druid for the kill, and then... Yeah. Okay, good. Can you you can do that. <laughs> That's quite a nice move. A bit silly, but nice. Okay, was expecting to do more damage than that, but never mind. You want to go and stand. Oh, this guy's not dead yet. Okay. Someone needs to sort that out. You sort that out. Okay, that's sorted. These people are not a problem. You come around and kill that demon. Okay, so now there's only one demon up here to bother my druid. And that means you can come down. Where best to stand? You can only get to the bottom anyway. And you can get where you like. Put you there. And hope that you don't just get battered by everyone. Again with the unexpected matchups versus dogs. And you're gonna shoot that guy, aren't you? Yeah. Not really the best use of your skills. Wang. It's the daytime, I've got four turns less left, I just have to not screw this up. Yeah, I can do this. <laughs> Marksman, eh? Sorceresses. I almost never make them because uh, druids are just so much more important, but sorceresses are fun. And this guy can get a level. Sometimes when you get a guy like this who's almost at a level, it's better to actually save that level. See if he can uh, get it later on. I'm not really sure what the right strategy is in this instance. Linda, you can try and get some damage in. Uh, yeah, no, maybe you go around here, get the level. Huh, lovely. Alright, you're intelligent and resilient. You can be a marksman too. So you guys will be best pals. And now, and Linda can get the experience points. Yeah, she needs quite a lot to level up, so best to start early. Got to be a little bit careful that this guy doesn't get in on the action. But uh, I've got enough troops here that I ought to be able to clean these things up. Actually, what the hell, it's daytime, or thereabouts. Oh, oh. 
Beautiful. All right. You could get three hits. But you can't get three hits. Gallus. Yep, a few ropey moments, but got there in the end. Ooh, there's a Magus down here, and there's a demon down here. But I actually think, amazingly, <laughs> amazingly, Ledinor might actually have this. Okay, you go get some health. You go get some health. You go over here just in case. And you also go over here just in case. Don't be too careful. And then you go down here and get some health. Yeah. Okay, didn't get clouded too hard. It's the daytime. left and the sorceress should be able to finish that. You're fast, not that fast. Try and get someone down here to give this Chaos Invoker a good whacking. You're pretty good at whacking. Go and do some whacking. Um, uh, yeah, why not? That wasn't as wacky as I was hoping for. You, Gallas. <coughs> Dang, nabbit. Okay, someone else is going to have to get the kill here, and there's actually not that many options left. Guys, this guy worries me a bit. I don't like these guys. They can get anywhere and they can get anywhere fast. Go in and try and whack my ranger. Will do, probably. Um, still. Oh, my druid. Oh, oh. Calamity. There you go there. Come down here. No, you can't get the druid, can you? That's more like it. And then you can go there.
mean. That was just mean. You. Serves you right, mate. Lots of healing, so much healing. Alright, we've got, got to get you on the way up to being a... whatever the next level of these guys is. Marshall. You stay, you stay, you... can even come down here. It kind of does feel tempting to try and take these guy, this guy out in the last couple of turns. Yeah, all right, I'm going to try it. Some pretty bad luck all around here. You, you run in and attack El Shepe. I oh, know he's good. He's got, he's got a poison bow. Okay, that's that's very annoying. You go there. You go there. Oh, you go there. You. Oh. You go there. You. Go there. Am I getting incautious towards the end of the game? Let's see. Ha! Okay, level up for my friend here. And you're quick and dexterous, so you should probably be a hero. everyone um, retreat <laughs> as fast and as far as you can nice maybe I should leave her to get the level but nah You guys don't retreat, you've got fun to be having. <laughs> yes, okay. Another trapper. And 
you're slow. You're very slow. You're not too fast either. Okay, if you come out, I reckon you're safe. And that is pretty much it. See if they get any last minute strikes in, but otherwise we are through. The humans are retreating after having almost defeated us. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but some of the other patrol leaders claim that the invaders are merely regrouping and preparing to strike again with greater numbers. Many of your peers abandoned their posts, and Adele and his hunters have not returned from their expedition yet. This is no mere skirmish, Galas. I do not think we shall be able to hold against them. Would it be possible to obstruct the valley entrances and repel them? How many more of those winged creatures could they have at their disposal? If we trust the scout's word, there could be hundreds, perhaps thousands. Their own sorcerers would be able to bring down or bypass any sort of obstacle we might raise within the scarce time we have before their next assault. I would be inclined to suggest fleeing. Do you say we should abandon our home? Where would we go? Our people are not as adept as those humans to surviving the desert's perils. We would certainly not survive the desert from whence the humans came, especially since we don't know how many more warriors follow their back trail. However, we have no reports of enemies approaching from the north. We have not been menaced by anything from that direction in centuries. It may be that any possibility of escaping the imminent slaughter lies there. If our historical records are correct, the cavern should take us far from this valley. It is my hope that the humans and their fell allies are not informed of any of this. North, you say? It is true that it has seemed more tranquil in my lifetime. Is it your intention to destroy any evidence of there being this underground escape route in the Northern Pass? Even if that worked, it would be a harsh, irrevocable choice. The ancestors of our people spent much of their lives hiding beneath the surface when this valley was just barely apt for sustaining them. If we manage to survive, we might in time be fortunate enough to find a new home to settle in. If we fail, at least we will die with our heads held high. You bring hard counsel, but I see its wisdom. We are between a rock and a hard place. Either death by the hands of the invaders, or the perils of the underground tunnels. Most of our people lack experience travelling at night, let alone under the earth. I fear we have no other alternatives left. Unless the civilians think it a better course to stand and fight to our death and be expunged from the green world without trace. It will be necessary, however, to provide a distraction until we evacuate all of our people to the caves. Have you thought on that, my lady? I have indeed, but... Some of us must stay here to spoil their attack. We shall do it. But, my lord? My lord, why? Because it is all I can do for our future. Many of us are too old to long survive the desert wastes, including myself. But here we can die well. Gallas, you are a brave warrior, albeit unseasoned. And more to the point, you have the intelligence to lead brave warriors. I pass to you the war leadership of the elves of the Valley of Elinia. But I am simply a patrol leader. I... I am not ready for such a responsibility. None of us are ever ready for such a burden, but we must bear it nonetheless. Now go. May fate reunite us in time, young Gallus. And that's it. 38 bonus gold for the next scenario. Bonanza. Alright. See you next time.